Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Nogueira Serrano, President of the European Bouvet Society, and let's talk today about several key of them. As we have seen in several of the past videos that we are updating all the information on some of the techniques and practices that we are having here on the pre-encounter 2013, uh, we are talking about uh, traditional teachings. Then these traditional teachings are lead to us by masters of our tradition, of our lineage, that has offered special visions, special perspectives about the art of war, about Bujutsu. Then these traditional teachings are studied under student uh, graduation. Then we are talking about advanced perspectives on the art of war. And in this case, we are going to explain uh, basically <coughs> five different uh, five different uh, kyoden. The first one it's called tsutsuku. Tsutsuku means to steer, to provoke, uh, to incite the enemy to attack us. Then, when we are in a certain position, we are offering a side of ourselves in order that he could attack ourselves. He has the aim to attack us, and it seems easy for him to to attack ourselves. Then. In this situation, when he is with uh, Bokuto and he is on Yoga no Kamai in a uh, outward uh, guard, we are far from him and we are going inside and offering, for example, my head in order to attack myself. Then he could easily cut myself and split myself in twice. Then from here, when he is, I am offering, I go backwards and he has the aim, or it's very easy for him to perform a tsuki, to trust myself. Then in this situation, go to the side and strike here into the nerve area of this point here, this spot. And from here, we could take the sword from the handle and here turn him and make the tip uh, come backwards to him. From here, pushing him downwards. Then, we are, in this case, inciting him to attack. In this second example, because these Kyoven are methods, then as methods could be applied in several disciplines or in whatever the situation we could imagine. And in this situation, I am offering my side in order to attack myself in a case I leave. From here, I escape going out and turning in order to strike with a side strike of my can here to his hands in order to lose the handle from here take the handle and come backwards and push him again like a uh, thrust trying to purse himself then this will be the first kyoden that we have studied for today that it's tsutsuku uh, no kyoden the second one it's called yamagumi Yama comes from mountain and Gumi from Kumu, that means to join, to, to reach the other. Then in this situation, uh, he will be in a Yoga no Kamai position or Furikaburi or whatever situation, he will be in an upward uh, Kamai, in an upward um, guard. Then in this case, we are going to anticipate before he tries to cut myself in a downward cut. Then from here, I will go with both hands, taking on the uh, on the wrist. Because if we go to the elbows, he will have not only the power but the conditions to cut and continue the cut and cut myself. Then here, it's not a good option to perform in order to stop this kind of attack. Then he will be the yama. He will be the mountain, and I will join the mountain in a outward situation. Then from here, when he is attacking myself, I go up from here and the second thing in order to perform this method is to take the handle and point into this position to go downwards, making him to fall. From here, fall into the ground and the ending point of this uh, method, Yamagumi no Kyomen, is to put the tip of the handle into his neck and make pressure from this situation. The idea is to, uh, to arrive to this situation and after that to make whatever we could 
we could do. For example, a throw, for example, a uh, shime, a choking technique, whatever. But we have to end in the same position and we have to arrive to, to, to start with the same position. Then from other example, okay, here he will attack again. I will go inside and stop his wrist, take the handle, take to the side and from here I will throw in an acid ocean throw from here to the ground take control of his arm with my knee and pressure with my with the with the sole with the handle on his neck and this is the final the final control that we will perform in this kyoden that is the second one that we have studied today that it's yamagumi no kyoden we remember to yon the mountain then for the for the third study we will study today we are going to talk about Agetsu Kigumo no Kyoden. Again, from going upwards to ascend, Tsuki to, to thrust, to burst, and Gumo from Kumo, that means cloud. Then we are in an in a upward thrust, we are uh, thrusting, we are piercing the cloud. Then in this situation, when he is trying to attack myself, the key is we could employ uh, all kind of cutting of cutting weapons for example the knife for example the wakisashi for example the sword i will explain now for the knife and for the uh, wakisashi the sword sword then when he's trying to attack me whatever the situation we could imagine for example in a makogiri but we will see in different situations we will take our knife here and when he's trying to reach myself, I will go inside, thrust him into his stomach, into his uh, abs area, and from here we will go upwards, and this is the key, Agetsu key. This is the cloud, because he is over myself, and I am thrusting completely the cloud. From here, going up. Then we are stopping at the same time that we have pierced, and we have uh, cut completely all his uh, all his pit area. We are stopping here, avoiding him to cut myself. This will uh, reach not only the X area, the pit area. He will reach all these uh, all the chin, all the face, all these points that we will seriously injure himself. Then this is one possibility. We could do it in whatever the situation. For example, if he tries. To do it in a kesagiri, for example, I will go up, and when he tries to uh, attack again, I will go enter and perform the same situation. For example, in a turning, in a turning situation, when he is trying to attack myself on a mako uchi, for example, I will go out. Now he turns to me, and I go inside and make the thrust in order to, to pierce himself in the same situation. Anyway, we can uh, we could explain with the wakisashi, the same situation. He could, for example, right now, we sense completely the attacks in order to make several examples. In this case, he will, for example, attack with a makuchi, and after this situation, he will try to pierce in a tsuki. From here, I go inside and Pierce going upwards. I have knee down my, my left knee in order to provide a wider base and uh, have more stability in order to perform this this uh, this piercing technique. Let's talk now about the fourth uh, the fourth uh, method, the fourth kyoden that we have studied today, and it's called mawaru furi. Mawaru means to turn, and furi means tornado, a vortex. Then. In this case, it's uh, like when he's attacking, we will perform like a tornado, turning around himself and person. This is the characteristic for this uh, kyoden. We could perform it uh, like the last uh, kyoden that we have studied today, uh, with wakisashi, with tanto, and with uh, katana. Let's perform it before with the with the knife. Okay? Then, in this situation, he will try. To attack me to reach in a I will go to the side 
and turning around himself very close to him, taking out my knife in the, in the right hand, and from him turning in order to pierce this. Step, step forward. Yeah, thank you. And from here, piercing on this area that will be uh, an empty space of the, of the armor. And we could read the organs. Then we could read this part. We could read, if we turn further, we could read uh, the femoral area, or we could read the tendons on the back side of the knee, because the armor is not protected in this side. Then, these are the most common targets that we will perform in this method, Mawarufuri. Then, let's do it, for example, with Wakisasi. When he is going, the same, we are going to perform the targets of the knee, and we will go uh, kneeing down. Then, when he is going to attack myself, I go to the ground, kneeing down, and turning in order to pierce, to pierce, uh, the back side of the back side of the knee. Okay, we could do it with a wide range of attacks with a with a bokuto. In this case, with a sinken, with a sword. Then, if I employ this bokuto and he is trying to attack me, please, I go further. I uh, I, I reach more distance with him taking out, and in this case, turning in order to pierce with a yakute, a yakute position of the hand and the handle. Then, this is the main method in order to explain Mawaru Furi no Kyomen. The last one that we are going to explain today, it's called Eizo no Kyomen. The first A means, comes from Kage, that means uh, the shadow, and the second Zo comes from Sho, that it's the same, that Futa, that means pair two. In this case, uh, what we are going is to stand in the same position when he is trying to attack me in a makogiri, for example, this situation, okay? We behave ourselves like a mirror trying to do the same technique and avoiding him to reach myself and I am reaching himself. Then from here, I perform the cut, avoiding him to cut, he could go down with the technique, he's not uh, reaching myself, but I am reaching him. The key here is not to go out of the line, it's to say it's very easy if he goes here and going out of the line. This is not right, this is a mistake, this is not performing this method. In this method we have to behave as a mirror and in the same way to stay in the same position. We could do it in the right side, we could do it in the left side, please, one more time. From here, doing in this condition. We could do it at the same time with other kind of techniques. For example, behaving as, uh, in a Kesagiri situation. He's trying to reach a diagonal line, and from here, I am performing the same, avoiding him to cut myself. In this case, reaching his elbow area or his arm area. For example, we could reach whatever uh, in, his, in his neck, trying the same, reaching his neck in the same situation, not going to the side, stepping forward, keeping the same line. This is like then the, the saddle, the saddle of the pair. Then it's like behaving as a mirror, it's a saddle technique. Then this uh, ends the final, the, the fifth. Uh, Kyoben, the fifth traditional teaching that we have studied today, and let's make this uh, list, this updating about all the Kyoben that we are studying in this pre encounter with Sidos Shadow and, uh, and with Sidos Jordan uh, together. Thank you very much.